Hey guys, um, I'm gonna wait just a few minutes so some others can hop on before I explain what all I got going on here. Do do do. Let me set some up. Oh no, it says my connection is weak. I hope that doesn't affect anything. I honestly probably should have figured this out before I hopped on. Um, but we'll see what we can get going on here. Hey everybody who's hopping on. I'm going to wait just a second. Um, just wait until we can have some other people come in. That way I'm not having to repeat myself like 50 times on some of the products. Hey Charlene. Um, I will forewarn you that I do have a diet Dr. Pepper. So don't hate on me. I've been trying to cut out the diet soda, the aspartame and stuff, but I have it tonight, so. Hey Mary, hey Heather. I'm torturing myself in front of you, so. <laughs> um, so, uh, we all, if not most of us, have all struggled with the, the facial hair stuff, and it's no fun. I know a lot of us choose different routes. Um, personally, I, well, what are some things I've tried in the past? I actually tried, I think it's called Vanica. Ah! Sorry, I hope no one fell. Hey, Phyllis. <laughs> hey, Samantha. Let me see if I actually have like an, oh, you know what? This is how bad I need to clean it. You know what? And it's really embarrassing my bathroom, like my drawers. Um, so I've had this. Oh my gosh, I had this since before I was married. Uh, thanks, Samantha. Hey, Emily. This is before I was married, so this thing needs to get tossed, but maybe I'll keep it so I can have it on hand to show people. Um, I tried this. It's called Vanica. It's a prescription. I tried this for a long time. Uh, this thing was like $70. I wouldn't recommend it because honestly, like if you stop using it, it, it it's not worth it in my mind because it's just not. I don't know why I still have it because I'm that kind of person that keeps everything. Like if I look at these some of these bottles and the dates on them, it's probably embarrassing. Okay, so like this one here, this is totally off topic, by the way. I'm looking for a date. 2006. Who else keeps their medication long? Hey Jessica. Hey Tiffany. Okay, 2006, 11:20. This here. I believe was from when I don't know what this was for but I kept it because it's the good stuff um so I usually take that when I get migraines and stuff this one here is actually more recent this is um, date filled 628 of the summer I've got pills over this is the vitamin D oh so a lot of you do take the vitamin D supplement I take um, 50,000 units a capsule once a week. So that's my vitamin D. So I guess I probably shouldn't be showing you all my personal information, but yeah. If you want to stalk me, go ahead. Stalk me, go ahead. Vitamin D. Um, so I do take prescription sink for that, strength of that. So, anyways, so I've tried the Vanica before. I wouldn't recommend it. It's like 70 bucks for that little bottle. I was a poor college student at the time, and I was like, I can't believe I'm spending all this money on it. But I did it, and whatever, because I was really embarrassed about it. and. Um, I didn't like to shave. Shaving was like an instant gratification, as you all know, but it always came back very prickly, and um, I just, very self-conscious, and now at the point, I will say, this is probably the longest I've had it in a long time. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Tiffany. So, it's not, it's not very um, prickly. It's more like a um, I like my legs because I haven't shaved those in a long time either. But anyways, I just want to kind of show you the freckles will definitely camouflage it, which is nice. I can at least thank them for that. I don't have much here or here. I usually will just pluck those or um, trim them. Not trim them, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm trying to look as I'm showing you, but really I need to not. I just need to show you. Just need to make sure my face. I mean, so it's there. 
but with my freckles, it's going to be much more camouflaged. I mean, they're they're pretty long, so hey, Emily, uh, but they're there. And honestly, the reason why I've gone this long is because I wanted to do it live. I wanted to do it live like a couple months ago, and then I ended up just running out of time, and I think I just waxed real fast one night. Because it does take effort to get my phone set up to make sure I've got everything out so that I can show you. Sorry, um, these messages are coming across the screen. And so um, I just want to make sure that I had everything together. So with waxing, there are a few things that I recommend. Um, you need to make it sure that you at least have um, a little bit of growth, which is probably the thing that a lot of people don't like to wax because you have to wait. Um, and this is definitely more than enough. You don't need to be... Um, I know we embarrass all the time. I'm not embarrassed of the hair. It's just, I don't know. I guess I'm used to it now. And I actually asked my husband today. I was just like, do you mind that it's actually this long right now? Because, like, I've been waiting to to do this video. And he's like, no, I don't really care. He's like, that's very superficial. Like, And he was trying to kiss me the other day. And I'm just like, oh, don't look at my face. And, you know, I still think that we all struggle with that at times. But really, it pales in comparison to how they feel about us. So, it's very superficial. Hey, Jim. So, um, how I start out is basically you need to make sure you do have a little bit of growth. Um, how much? Uh, I think, what did they say, like an eighth of an inch or something? But really, as long as you've got enough to like pluck, pretty much, you can be able to wax. Um, the products that I use is, I use, this looks pretty like nasty because I've used it. Okay, I'll tilt it a little bit. But I have a wax warmer. And it's by Gigi, G-I-G-I, -I. and um, I just turned it off. Oh, let me turn it back on. Um, I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I'm, I don't remember the cost, but I think I got it um, as a kit with um, like some of the the wax and all this other stuff. I'm um, sorry, Emily. Hopefully, like you can learn some things tonight. Um, it definitely used to be one of the things I struggled with more being self-conscious with but now I'm just like eh like if my kids know us like eh God made me this way anyway so I use the GG wax warmer um, which I really like and before I would basically just use those little things that you can warm up um, in the microwave like 30 seconds at a time and I just found it was really hard to kind of get a good temperature on those so what I'll do is I'll put them basically uh, this stays in there um, I just lifted up oh that's hot it just stays in there until you use all the, the um, wax up and then you can toss this so it comes in like little containers like this and you can get several different types of wax um, and then you can get these protective collars that kind of go around the top so um, you're not getting the wax see I got wax all over my um, ah it's so annoying to clean up that's Probably, and I always make sure I've got like something old on whatever I'm doing it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So I, I use those protective collars because it really does. Because if you, I mean, let me, I'll move my phone. Oh, I've got my phone plugged up because the battery is low. I mean, you can see like I get wax everywhere. So I, I definitely think, it, and it's probably only like two or three bucks for them. So it's really not that big of a deal to buy some of these. So. Uh, this is by um, Suddenly Smooth. Suddenly Smooth and Gigi um, are, I think, the two major brands at Sally's Beauty Supply that sells a lot of this stuff. Um, and so I just kind of use whatever whatever is cheaper on sale at the time. They all work um, with each other. Hey, Kayla. So I use these, which I do recommend. Um, now, with the honeys, there are several different types of honey. There are different brands of honey. I just basically so far have stuck with the Gigi honeys because I can usually find them on sale. Um, uh, like for instance, and there's different types. Uh, this one here is a dark honey. And different um, waxes are supposed to be good for different parts of your body. I want to say like, see the dark honey, it says for coarse hair. So like parts of your body with coarse hair. I just tried different ones just because I'm like, ah, oh, I just want to see if there's a difference. Honestly, I haven't really noticed a huge difference between a lot of them. Um, hey, Kayla. Hey, Brittany. This one here, I don't know why this one is like this. Maybe I started it and then I wanted to try something different. This one here is the Floral Hard Wax. 
And it says it's for, well, it's botanical strippless wax. That doesn't help me out. This is for sensitive and delicate areas. The floral one is, so I don't know. Um, hey, Casey. So that one's a floral hard wax. Oh, I know what this one is. This one is different. I'm like, why is why would I take the one out mid? Okay. This one, <laughs> this is one I got <laughs> when I decided I wanted to wax my um, my hoop off. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! So I've done that a few times. I did not plan on saying that on here because it's hard. Hard wax basically you you put it on and then you let it sit and then you pull the wax off so you don't need strips so that's what the hard wax is i totally remember that now yes so and that's better to do in those areas where like you're not having to put like strips and stuff so that's what this is for and there's my strip i've got with that one so use hard wax if you want to do delicate areas it does make a big difference um, and then this one here is an all-purpose honey. Um, this is just, it says, ideal method for removal of unwanted hair. Delicate, or gentle enough for delicate bikini areas. Really, I mean, it's just like your all-purpose one, which is the one I probably buy the most. Hey, Mia. Hey, Christy. Um, but like I said, I wanted to try the different things. Hey, Christina, so which is why I got the hard wax in here. Um, really, I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference. Your book. Your skin may react to one wax over another, so you're just you might have to play around with them. But the all-purpose, and then just don't get the hard wax for. I mean, I guess you could do the hard wax for your face, but that's more for like your bikini area and stuff. So I've got that. Oh, and then you'll need strips. So, hey, Christy. So with strips, I have bought them for where they were already pre-cut, and those are totally fine. And I found that some of them, like, you can get them in long strips, and I would cut them anyway because they have them longer because some people will shave, like, their, or not shave, but wax their arms and their legs. So I would just cut them. But I got a great deal on this, um, and I just cut my own size. So basically, I'll just cut several strips right before I'm waxing. And, yeah, I got a great deal on it. I don't remember. It was, I mean, these each of these products, like, the waxes are maybe... $10, $15, I'm not really for sure. Like I said, I always wait till they're on sale and I use coupons. So, yeah. So, I, I cut my own strips just because I've been doing it long enough and I'm, I feel comfortable with that. Then, um, you'll need applicators. There are different types of applicators. And like I said, there were different brands. Like, um, I have some Sunly Smooth ones. These are the large ones. Hey, ladies, you're hopping on. Marisol, Petra. Here are small ones. I suddenly smooth. Which, the large ones are going to be pretty much like for the large parts of your body. And small can be good for, um, it says for facial hair, which is why I got them. But I don't think I've ever used these on my face. I think these would be perfect for like your brows or if you're doing just upper lip. But where I'm doing like a large area of my face, I always just use the large ones. And this is the Gigi brand. Um, so why would I have this many? Probably because I got a super deal or I got like a set free if I bought honey, like the wax or whatever. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like these are too small for the, the large area because I basically, I mean, I wax this whole area like down in here. Um, so those are, you'll need those. Um, you need baby oil. They will usually give you like a small oil of like um, wax remover or some type of thing. Basically it's oil based and that will help remove any extra oil um, that is, or any extra wax that's on your face or on any products or anything that you just want off. Do I get any bumps after waxing? No, I don't. Um, my skin usually is a little bit extra sensitive so there are some things that I do right afterwards um to kind of help and before and i will show you those um one of the most important things is making sure your wax is not too hot um 
So if the wax is too hot, I've actually had it before where it like tears off like the top layer of my skin and the whole next day like I it looks like someone slapped me across the face because there's like it might be like a little patch of red here because where I put that that thing of like that strip of wax. <laughs> I'm just like ah, wax, you know, like people who are around me like they were like anyways, they they know. But at first I was really embarrassed, but now so since there's not a ton of, of wax left in here. I can kind of look and see and move it around to see what is a good temperature and sometimes I'll fill it on my finger. But I don't usually get too many bumps um, on my face. I think part of that is because I've done it a lot and so my skin may be more used to it. I will say that the first time or two that you do it, it's going to be more painful and you kind of just build that tolerance for it um, no matter where you wax. But that doesn't mean it goes completely away. Every single time I usually always do a little dance. And I'm just like, ah, and then I have to like psych myself, which you're going to see in a little bit. And that's okay. Like, I just get it done. Okay, so we've gone over these. Oh, and I've got this cute little cover. It goes, with well, it's really nasty. It's got like wax and stuff. And that just kind of goes over my wax because when I store it, I unplug it. And I just kind of put it in my, I guess my closet like that. So like the... Um, dust and stuff doesn't get into it all right so that is for post so what i do what i'm going to do first is and i'll just talk you through it if you have questions i'll make sure to hop up or look up every few seconds i'm going to cut some strips now oh uh, let's see for my face i sometimes do bigger areas and sometimes i do smaller depending on what which spot of my face it is oh there's I'm just going to cut some strips and they don't have to be perfect because I mean they're just going to get tossed so <laughs> that's because I'm just like chopping uh, I just need something to where I can cover a good amount and I can pull and I mean you can honestly you can make them a lot bigger and that way you have a lot of space to pull depending on how much you need to be able to grab but where I've done it quite a bit like I mean I can sometimes just do a tiny little corner and be like ah and then I usually scream and I'm fine hey Jenny like seriously I can be very dramatic when I'm doing this so I honestly don't know why I'm doing this off <laughs> but I've been doing this for years um, at least 10 years I've been waxing and even when I was back in college like I started to become more comfortable with it because um, I was that friend that did waxing parties. And so girls would come to me and we would wax different parts of their body. Like I would wax their toes. Like sometimes they never waxed before. And you know, why would they have a reason to invest in, you know, a system to help with waxing? Um, because it's not something they would want to do regularly, like, you know, their toes or, or whatever. Um, but it was fun. We would just have like little slumber parties and stuff. And I've waxed not everything but I've waxed butts and stuff and I just I don't really care I think it's fun so if I can help someone else feel a little bit more beautiful why not all right so like these are longer so if I wanted to do like a bigger area I could go like that um so I've got a couple of those I got a couple of mediums and then some smaller ones and these here will maybe just to kind of clean up some of those little areas um actually I'll cut one or two more It's all in good fun. All right. I guess if you're the one waxing, I'm not getting waxed. All right. So, first thing you need to do is make sure you get all the moisture off of your face. So, I usually, um, like I've got these little oxy pads that I use, and uh, they've got the salicylic acid in it, which is like a little acne treatment. I just take one of those, and or you can use your. Um, if you're going to use like a, a cleanser and actually wash your face, I mean, I guess you could do that, but you probably will want to do that afterward anyway, because a lot of times I'll put, do one of these right after, but where acne is a, um, something that we all tend to struggle with pretty easily because of our hormones, I love these little pads and I 
gosh, like I take them on trips. I mean, it's just, they're amazing. I love them. I can't get enough of them. And there's several different brands you can use. I'll show you again. This is what I use. And basically, just make sure that they've got the 2% salicylic acid, which is the what I look for. I don't know if you can see that. But that'll be your active ingredient up at the top. Um, so, yeah. So, just to make sure I got a, a somewhat clean face. Hey, Beth. Sorry, this is very drawn out. Um, all right. So, baby powder. What do you do with baby powder? I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Excuse me. So, they, if I have any moisture whatsoever, it is going to completely absorb it. Because if, if you know how oil... I guess like wax and water like just don't mix so you don't want any moisture on your face so I'm going to use some baby powder cornstarch whatever you got it doesn't really matter and sorry if you hear a little fan it's because I don't want to get hot doing this oh, so I have a little fan over here in the background hey Amanda so I'm going to put the baby powder on my face I usually I'm usually pretty generous it's just baby powder. <laughs> hey, Megan. All right. Oh, this is go time. Now, let me grab a clean applicator. My heart's racing, just so you know. Every single time. All right, this seems like it's pretty thin. So let me move down my phone so you can see a little bit. So, basically, it's going to... But I see that it can drip like that. I mean, it's definitely done. So I've had this in my wax warmer on low for about, I mean, honestly, uh, when there's not as much wax in there, maybe 30 minutes. But if it's a full container of wax, it may take like an hour or two. So, yeah. Um, hey, Loretta. I'm going to get this baby white or Betty, blah, 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 baby oil ready so I can touch it with my finger. Because my face will be a little bit more sensitive than my finger. That's not too bad. Okay. I'm going to turn it off just for a little bit. And then if it takes me a little bit longer than expected, I will um, put, turn it back on. Um, and I use these, like what I had cut, to kind of help clean up stuff too. So, you can use cotton balls as well. But sometimes the cotton balls will get torn apart with the wax. So that's why I like these because these are pretty durable. Like I had some wax on my finger. I dabbed some baby oil onto it and it cleans everything up. So I actually used the, the strips that I cut to clean up my face afterwards. I did baby, uh, baby or not. I did cotton balls before and sometimes like I would have like the cotton ball pull apart and it would just stick to the wax and I'm like that. That's just pointless. Okay. All right. I'm trying to see how I can do this where you all can still see. Alright, I'm going to try to do it more at your angle, especially on this side. Um, that way you'll get to see all the magic, right? So I'm going to pull up my little sideburns there and I'm going to, oh, sorry. You might be able to see better on this other side. So I'm going to do a thin layer. I'm going to do some more. And I'm going to show you how to actually get the wax out of the wax warmer where it's not just gooping all over the place. Because there is a somewhat of a little trick, like a technique that I use that helps. So after I get it thinly on there, I'm going to lay my, I guess, what is that called? My strip? My, it's not gauze, whatever. I'm going to rub it. Okay. I always usually take a deep breath for this. <laughs> okay. Ah! And I'm really nasty. I always look because I have to know that, like, it was not in vain. <laughs> that the pain that I caused myself was not in vain. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what it looks like right now, which the redness will go. I prefer to do it at night because when I wake up in the morning, it'll be gone. Oh, wow. That was pretty intense. All right, I've got my trash can here. All right, so I've done there, and sometimes I will go back and do it the second time 
if it's not completely, if it's not good enough for me. And I also will tweeze at the end. So now I'm going to go, I'll probably do this little area and then I'll go down here a little bit just to kind of let you all know what I'm doing. I'm going to turn that back on low because I don't want it to get too cold. All right. Just a little thin patches. And before, when I was kind of ashamed about waxing, I would only wax like, ah, see, I dropped it. Um, a little thing in the sink and that's okay. I would um, just wax like the side over here and then I would pluck the rest of it. Cause I was, I guess I was ashamed that I had to say that I had to do my whole face versus just my sideburns. And I'm like, who cares? Dude, it's a lot easier. So I'm just gonna rub, rub, rub. All right. So I'm just pressing the, the strips, um, I folded it in half and basically it will help pull off any of the excess that maybe you just kind of left behind. Is it just red? It doesn't pull skin off. I've never waxed. No, it does not pull the skin off. And I have had skin pulled off before Allison and the only reason why it was because my wax was too hot. Um, so that's why I really recommend, like if it's something that you're gonna be doing regularly, invest in a wax warmer. And it took me a while to invest in one, but I think now they're a lot cheaper at Sally's than when I, when I first got one. I wanna say you can pay like 30 or $40 for it with a kit and stuff, whereas when I did it was maybe like 80. Um, because you honestly do not want to, I mean, if you do the ones with the little microwave where you do like 30 seconds at a time and then like you're having to go back and forth and reheat, like I did that for years and now like just the convenience of having the wax warmer, I know the temperature is going to be at a safe level because I can do low, medium or high depending on how fast I want it to, to melt. I usually do it, you know, keep it on low for however long I need to and I've never had any issues. Like that's just red. Um, no skin is off. Oh. Sorry, Ma. There's a little thread from the thing. So it's just red. There's no skin off. Now I do have naturally dry skin. So if you see like skin like that looks concerning, then that don't be concerned because I have very dry skin. Like I have to use the old lady stuff from Mary. <laughs> um, the the time wise repair yeah like this stuff has been through the like because that's how dry my skin is um but it's still there like it's just it's just red i promise if my skin was gone like it would probably be purple underneath there but anyway so i've done this section and i i feel a little bit still there um, so I'm gonna look closer in the mirror a little bit to see if I want to wax again but usually I will go back and get some little stragglers with um, tweezers but I I want to do this area back in here because I, I find that I get growth back in here a little bit so let me get that real fast and then after I do this side, I'll show you how I get the wax out of the container and we'll go a little bit higher won't hurt oh no problem Allison you know what like if this can bring value to anybody here or give them some tips I mean just so that you can see it done if I had someone to kind of walk me through it, that would have been amazing my first time. But I have, gosh, if you'd been a fly on the wall in this bathroom, or like my past bathrooms, oh my goodness, like I've had wax everywhere, like seriously, like falling down my shirt, and I've been a, me a hot mess. So don't expect that you're just going to go in here and just, it, oh, that feels good. 
than that you're just going to figure it all out because you know what some waxes your skin may like i've never had any allergic reactions to any of the waxes so with that being said i don't know how your skin is so i you know hey Britt. so this is one face wax or one side waxed compared to the other side it's hard because I want to look and see what you're looking at. And they pretty much look the same. Like my hair is, simp like you can see some of the darker ones. It's not, it can be coarse when it's shorter. But now it's just so long to where it's just like curly. <laughs> okay. So now that I've done that side, I'm going to take, um, I need a, um, a shorter one. I'm going to take one of these little strips that I've cut and I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to put some baby oil on it and I don't ever usually put baby oil on my face except this time only and I'm going to just kind of rub it gently all over and that will help get in any of the excess all right that will also help soften any of the hairs that are still there so that when I pluck it's going to make it easier yeah, Brett, I know it sucks, but I always say you can't help where you grow it, but you can help where you keep it. You know, it's really interesting that I have, you know, we're, all of us, like, we have all this extra hair, but then, like, we lose our, we're losing our hair and stuff, so it's, <laughs> you know, we just wish that we could pick and choose where our hair grows, right, and falls out. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely feel, like, a couple here and there that I might go back and pluck, but... Not bad. So I'm going to save that for later. So now I need to do this side. Um, and I've already done my baby powder. So let me go ahead and show you. Hey, uh, Sheena. How I actually get this out. So whenever. Let me see if I can do this. Without. So I am. Basically, I just kind of go around. And I get some on there. And then I'm going to swipe it. And then sometimes it's still. Here. That was a really good swipe. Like it's still dripping off like on that side. You might see it, see how it's doing that. So what I'll do is I'll swipe it sometimes once or twice. And then I'm going to go like that. I just kind of do this little swirly thing. Well, well I swipe it first. Sorry. Because if you, if you don't swipe first and you swirl first, you're going to get it all over place like you just mouse on. So I get on there, swipe once or twice. And then go like this because sometimes those little stragglers are there. And that just kind of gets it. And just practicing that over and over and over, you will eventually be able to get it to where, uh, you know, like I'm sitting here and it, there's none falling off. I mean, there's just a little bit, but I've held this in the air for like 10 seconds. So, because uh, you don't need a ton of product and you can always do layers. All right, so maybe this side you'll be able to see better because the phone's on that side. So I'm going to swipe, swipe. Oh, got to hold up my little bit of hair my hairline because I don't want that to to get pulled out there there's no fun um I typically wax just my face I have just because I know people are probably wondering um I have waxed I found my armpits once it hurts like a mug like because you gotta like keep it taut taut or whatever so I rub 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 and it's hard just to kind of get the angle and I think if you're really good at like keeping it taut or and then you could do the strips that hard wax may be good for that um let's see what else have I waxed them on I've waxed don't know like I said earlier I haven't waxed I haven't waxed my butt because that's hard all right I'm gonna pull on it down here a little bit <gasps> These big sections here are usually like the, the ones like my heart's racing right now. <laughs> oh, I see it. Ah! Now I got to get the satisfaction because I'm graced like that. Okay. All right. So I want to get all the extra if I need to. Is anyone else gross like me where you kind of have to like look? It's like if you blow your nose, you have to look. What's wrong with this? 
but I do like those zip popping videos and stuff. I am one of those people. I know it's gross and I love to pop them. I uh, know I'm gross, but what if? I'm thinking I may have to go back through here. That's okay. So I'm going to. I know some people are like, oh, go in the direction that the hair grows. And I'm just like, nah. Just got to get that crack connected and get all rubbed up in there. Hey, Christina. Hey, Beatrice. So, okay. One, two, three. Ah! The, the cheeks aren't as bad as, like, this area. Because usually this is a smaller area than that area. But, oh, gosh. I've been waxing for years and I still, like, but I can usually do it pretty quick now. Um, I can usually get my whole face done within 15 minutes if I'm not doing a video and I'm like jabbering and stuff. But honestly, I'm trying to, um, I usually do it on a Sunday night if I can uh, for my like self-care Sunday. And um, I will also, a lot of the times we'll multitask. So like if I uh, need to like fix my roots, which if I wasn't doing this video, I probably would have been coloring my roots. Or sometimes I will even do a triple threat. And I will use these um, use these little 3D one hour express wipes. Or like just any type of like teeth whitening thing. Just to kind of, you know, like to take that one hour, you know, even if it's that one day a week. To, which I mean I don't do my, my hair and stuff like that very often. But. But when I do, I try to, to make the most of that hour that I'm having to do my hair stuff. So, if you know what I mean. So, this is what I've got so far. I definitely feel like I need to do it down here. I may do another, well, yeah, I'm probably going to do another swipe here. Because I'm feeling quite a bit. Um, I'm not really feeling so much there. I might pluck a little bit. But, let's go back over here again. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more baby white because it has been a while since I've done baby white. Yeah, Brett, like all of our, like for the most part, if you have PCOS, like your hormone levels are gonna be very unregulated. Like I know that the last time, well, the last few times that I've had my estrogen and stuff tested, um, my basically like my hormones was like I was, um, I think it was like postmenopausal woman or menopausal woman so like like I was in my 60s or so you know 50s or 60s um and it is what it is and I struggled with a lot of hot flashes um thankfully I haven't recently um come to think of it ah gotta be careful uh not getting I usually use a headband I don't know where my headband is I always wear a headband but with this fan I get little stragglers in there you don't want that because then that hurts. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I forgot. Hormone does waxing make your acne worse? Um, it it doesn't for me. Now I do I do have a friend who um, does struggle with a lot of facial hair. She does not have PCOS, um, but she does have a lot of facial hair. And just bought like thicker body hair in general and so whenever she waxed she did break out usually for like two or three days like she would have bumps and stuff but after that first two or three days it got better um, so she's not a fan of waxing she will shave or will pluck or whatever um, or if she's going on vacation she'll wax a few days beforehand um, so it really depends on your skin you know like what you what you typically react to if you struggle with a lot of products and stuff and just I don't know if you've never waxed before I definitely wouldn't say to invest in one of these like systems here um I would maybe try to get one of the the cheapy ones that you can warm up just to kind of play around with it to see if it's something that you would be into I'm gonna definitely have to pluck here a little bit Yeah, actually, um, the supplements that I take, 
Well, I, the, what I, I've been doing Shakeology for about a year and a half now, and it's gotten me off of my diabetic medication, my high cholesterol medication, um, like tremendous crazy like lab changes. So like my triglycerides dropped over 220 points in like three months. Um, my A1C dropped like a point and a half, which is ridiculous. Um, what else? I, so I was off my diabetic medication, my high cholesterol, my, I had my gallbladder taken out in 2005. And so I was on medication from IBS, gastritis, acid reflex because of the complications just from there on out. And they were like, oh, like, yeah, um, you know, this is a side effect, which, you know, I needed my gallbladder taken out. And so that was my side, you know, the side effects. And I just kind of had to deal with it. So, um, but I honestly have not been on that medication in a year and a half. So that makes me very excited because it used to be really awful. I've been having some tummy issues recently, but, but I used to be in, like in pain every single day that I ate. Um, but Shakeology has like, it's like my one-stop shop. It's got the probiotics, the prebiotics, it's got adaptogens, it's got, I mean, every, um, superfood you can think of it's got like over 70 it's got like maca root and just a lot of things that have already been kind of proven or suspected to help with um pcos and just like your body in general so i like that because i used to take like 15 pills a day no joke and i was just like i'm like 30 years old this is not the life that i need to be living this is ridiculous so i changed it if you want change you got to make change right so basically I'm going to be done waxing because um, that's pretty much the most part because um, I don't have much here. I'll just pluck that or whatever. So I'm going to turn this off and move it and then I'm going to show you. I mean, if you want to stick around, you can watch me pluck. So let me move this wax more out of the way. Ah. I am a hot mess. So I put that baby oil on there so it will help um, to not only remove the rest of the, the wax that's behind, um, but it also kind of will help soften the skin um, to kind of get those hairs to be plucked a lot easier, which is something that it's always nice. Now, if you're like me, this is just one drawer. I've got several drawers of these. Hey, Tori. Hey, Rebecca. Who doesn't have a nice stash of tweezers <laughs> how often do I wax um well it really depends on how long you're willing to let your hair grow um I would say when I was waxing pretty regularly probably every three weeks so, so three weeks or so um and that was fine now I will say I got these little um tweezers there's several different brands and they are like the angled ones these are from sally's and they're called by stella i don't know if you can see that it's got stella on there but um revlon also has one like their professional one they're amazing so um i just you gotta have a good pair of tweezers and i actually have like just in this drawer this is, this is quite hilarious i have well here's a cheap elf one I don't even know why that's there maybe I bought it before it came in something because it was the I like the slanted um, tip hey Andrea one two three four so five of the Stella ones in this one drawer and the one of the elf yeah, I'm ridiculous all right so let me see if I can move this a little bit so let me move some things ah. all right what is that? Oh, that's my perfume bottle. Hey, Michelle. So I have this little awesome mirror that I got at like Bath and, but not Bath and Body Works, but Bath and Beyond. And it like, it's probably really dirty. Yeah, like you can see like the dust and stuff on it. But like you can turn it on. Oh, I have to plug it in. I haven't plugged it because I've had this thing for like 10 years. It's awesome. Oh. I gotta turn it on and so I can really magnify I can do regular so this is what I use like when I do my makeup when I pluck and I do all that, that amazing stuff 
um, which I highly recommend having something that's nice that you can get down in and look at. So I usually do it on the corner. Actually, I'm gonna move my phone down here so you're a little bit more personal with me. I'm trying to, I've got wax here and I need to. So that way y'all can get a better, better look. So basically I'm gonna go in here and I can get a better look. And where I did that baby oil, they are going to come out a lot easier because they the skin's been softened a little bit um and i will use one of those um wipes when i'm done because i don't want my face to break out from the baby oil hey ashley hey vanessa i'll use one of these again to clean my face with the baby oil so i don't know how much you can see but i'm basically i'm just sitting here and any of the stragglers that i see that are dark or coarse i'm just gonna be like see you later sucker but yeah, if you're wanting to stay on top of this, you're probably going to be doing it every two to three weeks. Um, because your hair will... Oh, sorry. Your hair grows, grows, grows in different stages and different... Um, like, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? How fast they grow. They're, it's all different. I think there's like three or four different stages. So it just really depends on... Which mine had been quite a while my husband probably won't even recognize me okay I want to grab some of these stragglers I don't have a ton of chin hair but I do get stragglers so and I used to be really bad and I still am sometimes if I feel like a hair like a coarse hair on my face I'll sit there and try to dig and dig and dig and pick at it until I can get it out and then I end up making like a a sore or a spot I know this isn't very exciting but if you have any questions feel go ahead and be pot tossing them below hey Vanessa hey Ashley so this is just basically the cleanup part um, I mean you could wax your your neck but I don't have much there Thankfully, because I think that would be hard. I guess I would have to. I think I have done it before, but I've like, you got to make it really taut. And then pull. I do much smaller pieces there. But I don't usually. It just depends on my mood. And I will say, like, I don't need to have a smooth face to feel beautiful. But it does make me feel better. Like, I don't have to worry about the light hitting my face. And um, and just, like, people just sometimes just taking a second to to be taken back. Am I waxing? Yes. I just finished waxing, Jody, So you can watch the replay of it. Um, I use Gigi Wax. It's like this brand. Um, and if you watch the beginning of this video, um, I'll show you all the products that I use and how I use them. So I actually go through the process of waxing. So right now, I'm basically getting any straggler hairs that are left behind. So now I'm going to this side. I got a couple up here. Hmm. Got a little bit more on this side, I feel like. And I love these tweezers. It's so important, ladies, to get you a good pair of tweezers. And they don't have to be expensive. I think I got these on clearance. Now, where is that hair at? I'm trying to get this little hair, but it's at an angle, so I don't know where the bottom is. Let me clean that off. Yeah, if you're just hopping on, feel free to go through the video and you can, um, you can like s scroll through the video because I chat a lot. Um, yeah, depending on how fast your hair grows, I mean, it may be, um, three, four weeks and how much you're willing to let go on, um, you know, be on your face. But it does slow down. I mean, you're not having, especially if you're having to shave every day, ladies, 
it will make it a little bit thinner over time I've noticed because most of my hair now if you didn't tell most of it's blonde um, not all but it's not as crazy as it used to be and I think losing weight and having a really like solid meal plan and the, the supplement you know like the shakeology and stuff has really helped with it I will say I didn't mention this earlier I um, totally forgot you know I had tried the Vanica or whatever which was ridiculous and then I also was on uh, spiral naloxone for a very long time and that um, is an anti-androgen and that will help with your facial body hair, facial hair, body hair, and your hair loss um, for like the, the thinning of the hair. It will help with that. Um, it's a diuretic, so um, I would recommend that. It, I did notice a huge difference when I was on that. However, if you want to be taking that, you cannot be trying to conceive because where it is, uh, it does help um, block some of those male hormones. Uh, if you're trying to conceive, it can actually alter like your baby, like your, your baby's body parts and stuff. Um, Glumetta is more for like insulin, uh, which is similar to like metformin and stuff. So most women with PCOS are on something for their insulin resistance. But spironolactone, S-P-I-R-O-N-O-L-A-C-T-O-N-E, uh, and I think it's fairly cheap. You can get that, and it's anti-androgen, anti so you can look it up, um, and it does help. Um, you need to take it two to three months before you really notice a difference, but like I said, um, not if you're trying to conceive. So, um, I took it for several years, and I, I, I didn't notice any side effects or anything from it, and I liked it. Um, I stopped taking it because there was a, a I guess, gosh, it's, it's been several years ago. Uh, we were just like, all right, well, we're not going to use birth control, so there may be a chance we're, we get pregnant, you know, by the grace of God. And I didn't want to be taking it just in case. So, I stopped a lot of the medication for that, and I just never started it back up. And honestly, this is totally, totally manageable for me, since um, I still struggle with some of it, If you, you know, as you can tell. But since I've lost the weight and I've really um, changed the way that I'm treating my body... And what I'm putting in my body makes a world of difference. So, anyway, that's pretty much all of it. I might have one or two pieces, or not pieces, or pieces, well, I guess hairs that I'll go back um, and check out. But, oh, let's see. You take it only for PCOS, yeah. Um, a lot of people will take the metformin, which is the like the Glumetza just because they have PCOS, not because they're diabetic or anything else like that. So, basically, this is the side. Um, I'm trying to think in person. Let me see if there's a... Let me turn the bright light. That way you can see. Maybe that'll help. Um, really, it's, if anything, kind of pink. Like, I would be comfortable going out in the daytime like this. And this side was done even sooner. But I typically do it at night just in case um, I do get it a little hot and it gets red, like I said before. Like, But with the, the wax warmer, I usually don't have any issues. I just kind of turn on a little bit before I need to do it and there you go. Hey, Heather. So let me know if you all have any questions. Um, if, if you are a waxer, I totally recommend to get a system that works because... Um, it's not going to be as time consuming and just everything if you get the right products. So it's an investment into yourself. Just like a lot of things, guys, it's an investment. And I'm one of those people when I see the quality of it and just how it will improve my quality of life and just whatever I'm doing, I'm like, I'm all for it. So anyway, so do you have any questions? If not, I'm going to hop off here. And, um, actually I've got lots of messages I've got to get to. I do want to say very quickly, um, well, no, I'll just make a post about it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.